This is going to be an introductory video to endothermic and exothermic reactions. So the very, very basic thing that you need to know is that exothermic reactions feel hot, they give out heat, and endothermic reactions feel cold, they take in heat. Now what we can do is replace this word heat with the word energy. And now we've got a slightly more sophisticated answer. We've got a, we've got a two mark answer in our exam. So we can say that exothermic reactions feel hot and they give out energy. And we can say that endothermic reactions feel cold and they take in energy. So the reason behind this is all to do with bond breaking and bond making. Exothermic reactions are all to do with bond making. When we have two individual things here, we add them together, a bit of energy is released. Now that might be quite hard to get your head around. The easier way to understand it is that endothermic reactions, bond breaking, when we have two things that are together, energy is needed to separate them. If you have two blocks of Lego, um, you're going to need to put energy in to separate them. That is um, all about bond, that's what endothermic reactions bond breaking is, and exothermic bond break making is just the reverse. Exothermic and endothermic reactions are absolutely fantastic for showing in the lab because they're really quite impressive. A couple of examples you need to know for your exams are the exothermic reactions burning stuff and endothermic reactions thermal decompositions. If you want to see some examples of this, I've made um, quite a few videos on this. Um, good ones are the thermite reaction, elephant's toothpaste, screaming jelly baby, or there's a really nice endothermic reaction. So this is a slightly complicated bit um, we're coming to. This is higher tier students only. And it's not a guarantee. I can never predict what the examiners are going to do. But I'm going to say that there is 99% chance going to be a, a big maths question on your paper. Whether it's bond energy calculation or whether it's titration calculation, I'm betting there's going to be a big maths question. So it's well worth spending the time learning this um, because I generally work quite a lot of marks. I have made um, a separate video on this um, so that everything's um, in the same place. It's definitely worth going to check that out if you want to be aiming for the top grades. But very briefly, you need to know that the energy change is equal to energy of bond breaking minus the energy of bond making, which is the energy of the reactants minus the energy of the products. And in the results, if you have a negative answer, it's going to be exothermic, and a positive answer is going to be endothermic. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions, or requests, down below, please.